Is imposter syndrome keeping you stuck from creating your business? In today's video, I share the three ways you can overcome those imposter demons looming in your mind so that you can start creating and putting great work out there into the world. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Hi, I'm Lydia Lee, the corporate escape coach at Screw the Cubicle, where we help you to break free from the shackles of conventional work and create an inspired version of your life and your career. Now, if you're just starting out in the journey of creating a freelance career or a business to escape your nine to five, I bet you're feeling a little bit of that imposter syndrome creeping in. Now, it's very common for anyone starting anything new to feel like an imposter, and that seasoned business owners like myself included. However, it does not have to be the thing that keeps you stuck. Imposter syndrome does not have to kill your dreams. So to help you, I'm going to be sharing how you can stop feeling like an imposter and instead focus on what you can be doing to be a trusted resource for the people that you want to help. Number one, stop comparing yourself to others and stay in your lane. The comparison game is only going to make you feel behind. There is a difference between inspiration and comparison, and it is in the comparison part that will kill your dreams. Now, it's totally fine to be respecting and looking up to and admiring particular business leaders or influencers in your market because they sort of represent a forecasting of where you may want your business to go. And that's excellent to inspire you. However, also know that they started where you are. Don't compare a one-year-old business with a 10-year-old business. The activities that you see them doing, how their brand is being positioned, that took years in the making. They too had to pound the pavement, start from ground zero, just like you are. And so trying to emulate exactly what they're doing, going, oh my gosh, I'm not there yet, is really comparing apples and oranges. Instead, focus on what you need in the stage that you're in in order to more effectively get you to your own success. What's the next door that you need to open? What is the experience that you want to be creating if you weren't going to look at other people's stuff and focus on what you think is best for your customers? Now, at times, this may not have to be some sort of complicated strategy. It may be actually quite organic, like activities like talking to more customers or reaching out to people that you already know that may need your help. Really understanding and deciphering the problems that people have that is probably going to be attracted to your business and learning to craft an experience and an offer that is specific to your business. Doing this will ensure that you're reaching those goalposts and those achievements that are actually necessary for your business. Number two, you don't need to be an expert to start helping people. So many people simply don't start because they have this misconception that they have to be some sort of 20-year expert to feel respected or starting to help anyone at all. But know that expertise actually is built when you get better at your work. So you actually just have to start. Now, chances are in your day-to-day -day life, you're already helping people in some capacity, whether professionally or in your personal life, for free. So doing it in a business doesn't have to be so different. Also know that you can define expertise as if you are a just someone that is one step ahead of somebody else. Think of it like you are a great two person helping a great one how to go through first grade. You don't need to know anything beyond that. So there's always somebody in the world that needs what you know because they don't know what you know. So actually having someone just a few steps ahead of them is much more um, educational for them than learning from someone that's actually a veteran in the skill set that you have. So know there's always someone that's a good match that you need to help. And ultimately, you can't stand out until you show up. So learn to focus on actually helping as many people as you can in the beginning of your business by simply giving away your gifts, helping as many people that you meet. And the more you help people, the more confident you're going to feel about your craft and less of that imposter syndrome is going to creep in. Number three, do great work one person at a time. There's a big misconception with first-time business owners that they need to have a big audience or a big list in order to do great work. What if your route to success is actually through the formula of helping one person at a time instead? 
Now, one of my favorite authors, Rich Litvin, who wrote The Prosperous Coach, talks about actually the real formula of getting high-end clients and actually having income for your business is having powerful conversations with people, giving who you meet the most powerful conversation they can have and using that as your strategy instead of actually focusing on automation or technology or whatever thing that you think you need to get to clients. So how many powerful conversations are you having every single week in your business? How often are you actively seeking people to actually really give them that intimacy as if it's a paid client and giving them that taste of that experience so that they can't help but ask you about your services? And that can absolutely also eliminate your imposter syndrome by simply actually knowing more about your clients, being of service, and that is a way to start feeling really confident and effective in the work that you truly want to do. What more real truths is how you can build a business full of credibility, your reputation intact, and actually build your expertise properly as a first-time business owner? I wanna invite you to watch a free webinar I ran called The Simple Ways to Build a Profitable Side Business, where I will teach you all the practical, practical and doable ways that you can start today to develop your business with trust. Thanks so very much for joining me for today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos just like this one. See you in the next one. Have you been desiring to create a life and career that gives you the freedom that you deserve, but you're not quite sure where to start? Well, let me be the guy to help you quit that job that's crushing your soul, discover your strengths and make money doing something that you love and will care about. Head over to screwthecubicle.com to find tools and resources I've created just for you to help you jumpstart your escape plan from your nine to five and launch a business you can run from anywhere.